Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. So as you can see, we are in a very different location and this is where I'm mainly going to be filming my videos this year. I have a lot of goals and a lot of intentions for this year and one of those was to get my own space, have my own office, have my own studio. So I'm still working out the kinks with the lighting and everything so if you could just be patient with me on that. But it is Monday, January 2nd, 2023. Sounds so crazy. And I wanted to film my first video of the year today and do something glamorous. We're going to do some glam today. I haven't been wearing makeup the past couple weeks, like makeup makeup, because of the whole plumbing situation at our house. We had a pipe burst if you didn't see that video. Um, so we've been kind of living out of suitcases and hotels and um, I'm finally excited to sit down in my own space and I just want to do a full face of glam makeup. So I have all my makeup in my office which is amazing. It's not like crammed in our closet at our house and I can just have all of my stuff here and I just feel so inspired and so much more creative and I'm hoping that the quality of my content will also uh, improve as well. So make sure you grab me a drink, grab a snack as always, sit back, relax. I hope that this new year has been a good one for you so far. It started off well. I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to the new year and what the future holds. So I've got a nice hot cup of coffee and let's go and get started. All right, so I went ahead and just did my brows. I used my normal um, NYX brow glue and NYX brow pen. I just went ahead and did that off camera because it's the same. I'm not doing anything different. Um, but we're going to go and dive in to the base. And, and since this is more of a glam look, I wanted to go for something a little bit more full coverage. But I don't, honestly, I don't own any full coverage foundations. This is probably the most full coverage, but it's a really beautiful formula and one that I just haven't used in a while. So I thought we would bust it out today. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I really, really like this uh, foundation, and I'm using this in the shade Warm Ivory. Hopefully, it will match me. I also don't have a mirror yet. I ordered one. It should be coming here tomorrow, but for now, we're just going to have to use a palette mirror, but I've been wanting a mirror that I don't have to hold because that's what I've been doing for so many months now is holding a mirror. So I'm going to have a mirror that I can actually just put on my table. I'm going to do a few stripes like that. And then I'm also trying out these new Persona br brushes. Um, they don't have names on them, so I will link them down below. But I'm going to take this, um, it looks like a foundation brush. It's kind of bigger and kind of dense. Looks like a kind of a buffing brush. And then on the other side is a concealer. Oh, it does have names. Okay, so this is the base brush. This is the conceal brush. Sorry, I just saw the names on the sides. Okay, so anyway, they just sent me these in PR and I haven't tried them yet, so I really want to try these out. And with this Hourglass foundation, I definitely prefer a brush because it is a bit of a thicker formula. And I'm not going to do too much of this foundation because it can get a little heavy if you apply too much, but if you just get that perfect like light layer, that sweet spot, this foundation is so beautiful and it's really long wearing. I used to wear it all the time, um, but since kind of taking a break from foundations, I haven't used this one in so long, but it is so gorgeous. And then underneath, I just have my Ulla Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer, which is where all of this glow is coming from. Um, I'm taking my Rose Ink Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade 040, and I'm going to try out this conceal brush, but I may end up switching to a sponge. We'll kind of see. But I hope y'all are having a good new year so far. Um, I know we're right in the beginning of it, but I'm really excited for this year. Last year was a very difficult year for me. This year, I'm just really excited to go after a lot of things that I've been wanting to do for a while but just haven't taken the time to do it and this year I'm definitely going to be doing a bunch of fun things and I'm excited to share all of that with y'all so this is going to be a great year for everyone I, I just know it so I'm going to go in with my damp sponge these are the pawpaw sponges off of Amazon I will link them below they are the absolute best they're basically the only sponges that I use 
All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of cream contour and then I might go back in with a little bit of concealer. I actually wanted to do cream contour first before concealer, but I was just talking and I forgot. So we're gonna do a little cream contour and then I may go back in with a little bit more concealer. But for contour, I'm gonna use the Jouer Bloom Bronze and Glow Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. Um, this is a really, really lovely product and one just that I haven't used in a little bit. And I'm gonna take the shade sunset all right really nice cool toned contour which is what i'm going for today as you can see my kids were playing in my makeup when i was moving into my office and they took all the caps off of my cream products and then tried to put them back on and so all of my cream products look like this now <laughs> oh it was everywhere it was all over their hands all over my drawers oh so fun yeah i want something that's a true contour because i am going to be going in with bronzer um, which is going to be a little bit more warm. Use this to actually contour the cheeks. And I think I'm just going to use the same foundation brush to blend that in. And the cool thing about these Jouer sticks is that they actually have a cream highlighter on the other side. So if you wanted to use that, I'm going to use a different highlighter today. But I like that, I like that you have the option with that. All right, so I am gonna go in with just a little bit more concealer just to kind of clean up under here. I'm telling y'all, we're, we're doing all the things today. Take a little bit more on my under eye too. All right, and then to set the face, I pulled my Honest Beauty Loose Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Again, another one just haven't used in a little bit. Oh, and something really exciting that came in this weekend. So um, I am almost out of my Vita Labrada Beauty Blur, you can see. This is the old packaging, and they have since redone their packaging. I've heard that they've reformulated, but then I've also heard they haven't. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to reach out to the brand and ask them directly. But I went ahead and repurchased my Vita Liberata um, with the new packaging. And this one's really interesting because instead of having a pump, it actually has a big doe foot applicator like the Charlotte Tilbury, the Elf. It's like they're all jumping on that uh, doe foot applicator bandwagon. But yeah, I'm really excited to play around with this and kind of see if it's the same formula or not. See if I love it just as much as this one. I hope I do because this is a holy grail for me. Um, but yeah, I thought it was interesting they switched up the packaging like that. It's the same amount of product. Yeah, same amount of product. Um, and I purchased mine from Look Fantastic. And it got here pretty quickly. So I'll link it down below. I know this is a kind of a difficult product to find. But I did order mine off of Look Fantastic. And I didn't have any issues. Alright, so let's do some powder bronzer. And for that I pulled my Juvia's Place Bronzed Palette. And this is in... The shade light cleaned all my makeup brushes, which is awesome. And I can actually have them out. Before I could not, I didn't have an actual like filming space, filming desk. So my brushes were always just like in a drawer somewhere. Now I have all my brushes like laid out. I can see everything. Oh. So if y'all made any New Year's resolutions, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to hear what y'all are believing for in the new year and what your goals are. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter shade, run that down my nose and under my lip. And then for blush, I'm actually gonna take my LH Cosmetics Infinity Palette, and I'm gonna do a little combination of these two blush shades. It's Andromeda and Pinwheel. And then for highlighter, I really wanted to use this cream highlight from RMS. This is their Master Radiance Base but it's this gorgeous cream highlighter. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna use that today. I'm actually, I'm gonna take a little bit on that Persona Conceal brush. Just pat that right on the tops of the cheeks. All right, so that is all that I wanted to do for the skin. Pretty happy with everything. I love this highlighter, it is so so pretty. Um, so for the eyes, we're just going to stick with the LH um, palette. And then I also pulled 
a little eye topper from M Cosmetics. I may do that, I may not. We might just keep this matte. But I just thought we'd kind of play with these shades right here on the eyes um, and do something glam but still pretty natural. I'm honestly probably gonna end up doing winged liner, which is what I always do. So I'm also gonna use these brushes from Persona. She has a few eye brushes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Maffei, which is this one right here. I don't know how well this will show up on my eyes. It looks pretty light, but it also looks like it might just be a nice little wash of color. So I'm just gonna start working this through my crease and kind of all over the lid. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of Cigar. I love this color for the brows. If you're a blonde, this color for the brows is amazing. And then if you're a brunette to like black, Fornax is an awesome color for the brows as well. I like to mix those or sometimes I'll just use Fornax in the brows. Um, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Cigar and I'm just gonna focus this right on the outer third just to give a little bit more dimension. All right, and then I'm gonna take a mixture of Maffei and Cigar and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna leave the eyes like this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then I'm gonna take my favorite Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of black liner to my upper waterline. I'm gonna take the LH Cosmetics Black Core Pencil and just tight line so that there's no gap. It just looks more saturated right at the lash line. All right, and then let's do a little winged liner. So I'm gonna use the, I can find it, the Persona Detail Brush. It's a nice, really thin angled brush. And I'm gonna dip into Fornax. It's not a true black. It almost has like a little bit of a charcoaliness to it, which is why I love it so much. And I'm just gonna follow, if y'all can see this, I'm gonna follow my lash line and start bringing it out. And then connect it. Sorry, I'm trying not to cover my face with my mirror. It's very hard to see though, which is why I really want a mirror for my table. And I think I want to go a little bit more dramatic with this. This is what I would normally do for just like an everyday glam, but I kind of want to go a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to pull it out even further. And something I've been doing with my liner is keeping it more flat rather than going up. I've been mean, keeping it a little bit more outwards this way, more horizontal. Um, Cause I just like the way it looks on my eye shape. Winged liner has always been really difficult to do on my eyes. Um, but I find that this kind of going more this way rather than up, I think it suits my eye shape better. And I am gonna bring it in slightly towards the middle of my eyelid or maybe bring some to my lower lash line. Why not? I'm gonna connect that liner to my lower lash line. Oh yeah, I like that more. A little bit more drama. And I love this brush. I will definitely link this down below. This makes this liner so much easier. Yeah, much better. I like that. I like the connection onto the lower lash line. Kind of makes it a bit more interesting. Okay, so I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that's it for the eyes. I was thinking of doing something sparkly. I have the M Cosmetics um, Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow in Moonrise, which I'm kind of tempted to kind of apply this just like a little lid topper. Should we do it? Oh, it's so pretty. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's do a little bit. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit and instead of rubbing, I'm just gonna tap it so that we just get the little flecks of glitter because I don't want any color. I just want the 
shine. So I'm just gonna tap it. So it just kind of gives the illusion of a gloss. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty. Okay, now I'm done with the eyes. So for the lip, I haven't even pulled a lip. I need to go pick out a lip color. Hold on. All right. So something I haven't used in a while is the Makeup by Mario Lip Palette, Master Matte's Pro Lip Palette. So we'll do a little custom lip color. Um, I'm gonna first line my lips though with MAC Spice. And then I actually want a little bit more of a warm kind of brownie nude, like slightly yellow. So I'm gonna take LP1, which is this really nice like yellowy nude. I'm gonna take that with the little brush that it comes with on the spatula and just apply it to the palette. Um, if y'all like making your own custom shades, you like having a lot of lipstick variety, this palette is seriously amazing. You get your primary colors, a black and white, and then all these different shades, and you can literally make any color imaginable. So I highly recommend this. I don't use it enough. Um, honestly, it just takes a little bit more time, but it's so good. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of LP3 and kind of mix those together, see if I like that combination. Ooh, actually I do. All right, so this is LP1 and LP3 mixed together. I have about like equal parts. Wow, that is such a pretty combo. All right guys, so that completes this look. This was so much fun. I have not done like a full, just all out glam. I feel like I probably could have done a little bit more on the eyes, but actually I really like just how soft they are. And I love that little bit of sparkle. It's so pretty. But yeah, this was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so excited for the new year and I'm excited for all the new opportunities and I have so many ideas for my channel and for my content and I'm excited to share that with you bring y'all along with me. It is going to be an amazing, amazing year. So thank y'all so much for your continued support, for all of your super sweet comments. I mean, the comment section on my videos is absolutely incredible. If I ever need just an ego boost, I just read your comments because y'all are seriously the sweetest, most kind, caring people. And I'm so blessed to have y'all here on my channel and a part of all of this. So thank y'all so much as always. Remember, I love you. God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.